everyone, this is Jeannie Ellis, also known as Scrapbooking Mama. And today I want to share with you my project for the mood board for March 2019 as a design team member with Splashy Mix Challenges. And I am going to insert the mood board, if I can, into this video so you can see what it is. And hopefully it will inspire you to get your, your, uh, it's, your project going and to join us in our challenges. Now what I'm doing is a uh, pencil holder, pen holder, whatever you want to call it, uh, to hold my pencils that I kind of misplaced. I don't really have a place for them. And so I have done already some, uh, connected my box, put my box together. I made it out of chipboard and I'm going to insert some photos of what I did, um, you know, to get it done. But one of the things I want to tell you is that each piece that I put together, each side that I put together are four by four. Let me show you the box. Here it is. Each piece was four by four, including the bottom. Now, what I did on mine is, uh, let me get my card chipboard here. Uh, I had a paper packet that had this really neat chipboard already in it. You don't have to always go buy chipboard special to do things like this. Just find it in paper packages or cereal boxes, whatever you want. This is a medium weight chipboard, so I was, it was easy for me to cut it on my trimmer. Now, what I did here is I have a 4 by 8 square, and instead of cutting 4, 4, and kept doing that, I went ahead and did 4 by 8, and then I took the center of it, and I put it into my trimmer, and I didn't cut all the way through. I just kind of gave it some wiggle room to get it. To make it like a score line so I can bend it like this. And so I had already two sides put together. I did that twice. And then I took these pieces of paper, cut four by one inch, folded in the half, and taped them with double side tape, which will, you know, you will see in um, the uh, steps that's in my photos. So that I won't show you because you're going to be seeing that if, you, if I depending on when I insert that before or after, probably after this. That is what I did. Let me put this together. Now my next step is going to be, after I've put them all together, every corner, every edge is going to be covered. So make sure you do that. And I am not going to gesso this or anything. What I'm going to be doing is uh, putting four inch squares of white cardstock. And that one looks a little bit bigger. I need to check that one. But I'm going to put four, <clears throat> four inch squares on all four sides. And I am going to use Distress Ink Oxide Walnut Stain to distress the edges. So let me, let's see, I had it out. So I'm going to be doing that. And I'm going to fast forward this part of the video so you won't get bored.
Okay, I have finished putting my uh, background paper, which is my white paper. Uh, each of these squares were four inches by four. And inside, I had put three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths because it was a little smaller uh, to put it inside, if you know, easier to fit. And then I put a, and I cannot for the life of me remember what this is called, but it's like a felt, and it's very stiff. And I use that as my bottom, so that way I have a, a good cushion on the bottom. And as you can see here, I've got a bunch of scrap paper. I mean, there's no, the only, I think I've got two sheets that are not scrap paper, but um, I've got different ones that I picked. And the reason being is because I am trying to get as much of the colors in this on this box as possible. Plus, I'll be doing some other things on top of that. So my first step that I'm going to do, I'm deciding, I think I will use this paper as a background, or this one, I'm not sure yet which. Because my colors in my, my uh, craft studio is is basically this color here with some browns, but I can always add other colors too. Um, let me see what I want to do. This is a two-sided sheet of paper. I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and, and oops, I hit the camera, sorry. I'm going to go ahead and use this as my background. And so that means I'm going to get my trimmer. My chair makes noises, sorry. And these are outside the box here is four by four so i need to go smaller and i'm going to trim off this edge here of this paper it's an, an extra strip that is it added on to tell you what it is plus you can use the other side if you want to okay so i'm going to take make this three and seven fourths because I want it to be a little smaller by three and seven fourths. And I am going to cut four of these in random places. And I'm going to go ahead and take that one too. So I'm going to cut these out and then I'm going to adhere them to the box and I will be back. Okay, um, I've decided to go ahead and only do a little bit of tearing of paper and putting it on here because I'm going to do some other things. And I really am trying not to take away too much from the decoration of this paper, but you know, we'll see what happens. So I need to take, um, I'm going to go ahead and use this Mod Podge. I can get it open. Sometimes these things are hard to open. I've got a foam brush here that I'm going to use, and you can see I use it a, a lot. And I'm just going to take it, and I'm basically just trying to put it on the paper itself for now, just to to get it on there and put it maybe a little bit on there too. But for now, I'm just trying to get it on the back side. Oops, and on my thumb as much as possible and I'm going to put it this direction but like I said I'm trying not to cover too much of the other part of the uh, the 
the product. I may do some stenciling to it. I'm not sure yet. Um, my mind is, you know, I went was going one direction, but now I'm, I'm like going another direction. And see, I don't want to cover this bird here. So let's see if I can find some kind of a pretty paper. Okay, I've got yellow, and I don't know if that'll look good there or not. Um, I'm probably going to use yellows in a different way. Here's a paper that's got some pretty colors onto it, and just I just need a little bit of it. I just tear it. Let's see how do I want it here? If I put it this way, it's going to look funny. I don't want to cover my bird. Now I'm going to close my Mod Podge for a little bit because I'm not sure when I'm going to use it. I'm going to cover my brush with a, the, a wet wipe. I'm going to see if maybe I can add a little bit of stenciling in here and there. No, I think what I'm going to do is Distress Inks instead. This has got to be one of my favorites right here. Let's see, there's candle, Candy Apple, I think it's called. Okay, I just bought this Spice Marmalade, and there is orange in the picture. Let's just see what this does. If I can get it open. go back over here. I'm going to add my splotches. I love this stencil, as I said before. I'll get all this stenciled and then I'll be back. part. I'll have to find a little container for my orange marmalade or spice marmalade. I set all my inks in these little, little daubers in a container. It makes it a lot easier for me. And now clean this off. Now I am going to do something a little, hopefully unique. I'm going to add this fence to this because it's like an outdoor scenery with birds and everything. But I am going to see if I can add some flowers. I've got different flowers I've got in my container. These are just things that I've had in my stash and it's, it's okay to use them. 
Right, and if I can get it open. And I'm going to go ahead and get several different flowers out so I can pick out which ones I want. I had these separated for a reason but at the time, but I really don't need them separated now. Um, yeah, that's a good red one right there. Okay, I got my pencil box done, all finished, and I've used different mediums here. I used paper, of course, and uh, of course you don't always have to use paper. I used um, uh, die cuts on here. I tore paper. I used a little fence around here, some lace uh, trim around, and some rhinestones. I love these rhinestones. And um, I distress inked, and I was going to do some stenciling on here and everything, but I, as I said, I didn't, you know, I did do stenciling. I, I did do that, at like uh, places like this, and you see there. But I meant what I meant to say was I was going to do some texture paste with stenciling, and I decided not to do that. And of course, I got glue all over too. But uh, then I added some flowers to it and I, I like my little bird sitting on the fence I just happened to have one left and uh, so he, he's kind of dimensional there you see on the side there but uh, anyway I made added these little butterflies on this little butterfly on and I'm trying to keep its wings poked up so every once in a while I'll just need to do that but um, that's my project. I mean, I decided to go ahead and, and and make my pencil box using different mediums to to make it. And I did make the box myself, as you you see in the uh, first part of the video. So anyway, I will post pictures, and you can see what the end result looks like at that range. Because right now, you know, with the camera, there's no way I can do that. But anyway, I will post pictures. So. Stay tuned for the pictures, and thank you for watching, and, and I hope that you will be inspired to enter our Mixed Media Challenge. It's always fun and lots of great prizes. So thank you for watching. Blessings. Blessings.